Hi guys, I'm Grace. I'm Jasmine. And, and we're, we're the, the DIY, DIY Girls. <sighs> we can finally post the video. I hope that today they're fixing our internet so we can start posting more. Again, the videos are done. It's just a matter, of, or the crafts are done. Um, and then the videos can get uploaded. So today's video is going to be about what, baby? Joy. We did three very quick and easy crafts um, with the word joy that I think you guys would be able to do it quickly. And I think each one was less than five minutes, um, except for the, the little bit of drying time, but like the actual craft itself was awesome. So I want to say thank you if you are new. I want to say also thank you for those that have been our uh, subscribers and our viewers for a while. And if you're new, welcome. We love to do crafts and Dollar Tree hauls and any haul that we like for decorating and stuff. So uh, these are my new earrings and you guys have seen them before. Uh, I believe they're from Walmart. Uh, Walmart or Dollar... No, or Big Lots is where I bought these earrings. So I'm not sure which one. Or Walmart, oh. I remember. And yeah, then she I'm has her little snowflakes earrings. They're not new, but I've never worn them before. So. Oh, it's so cute. All right, guys. Thank you so much. And I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye. Okay, guys. So here is the Joy Snow Globes. And these are some of the materials you could use. If you don't have the wreath, you can use one of those um, long, I guess, I don't know, call them garlands or something. You need three of the snow globes and any ribbon that you like. I'm going with a red and white for the peppermint um, view. So those that's why you see those colors. But obviously you can use any color you like <sighs> on these. Now, ripping the paper off of these was really easy. But then it was leaving some parts behind. So at one point I tried sanding it down and so that it would help in the painting and even the back didn't want to come off even when i tried with a heat gun so this one was a little bit of a nightmare so there you see me sanding it down just a little bit at the end really it didn't matter because it gave it a little bit of a texture to the snow globe and all i did was with the white waverly paint i painted all of them white and then i obviously i used my blow dryer and that was it they with this one i only needed one coat really i just did a really good thick coat and then once they dried i used those stickers also from dollar tree again everything from here is from dollar tree and i just used the j and the y because the o was going to be one of those little wreath i think those wreath actually the other ones are from dollar general so i'm here i'm trying to figure out which ribbon do i want to put on the bottom and then I knew I wanted it to be a little thicker, so I was trying to see if I used two. And here it gives you some ideas on what to go ahead. So I was like, maybe if I put it thick, and I was like, wait. And then I was trying to figure out how, you know, how it would look. And at the end, I ended up with not using any of these. But it gives you a clue or an idea on what, you know, an option also on what pattern you would like. So I went in my stash and I found, I believe that ribbon is from Walmart, but I'm not quite sure. And then that one was thick enough to wrap on the bottom of the snow globe. So that is literally what I did. I kind of measured how much it would be to go a little bit behind it. And then, see, because I wanted to wrap. And then when I had the idea, and then she had put the sticker a little too low. So when I had the idea, I cut it. Then I used that one to cut three exact ones, the same measurement, and that part was done. And then all I had to do was hot glue it to the bottom. I used some on the side and a little bit on the back. And then I put a little bit more in the middle. And then I did the two sides in the back again. And that's the same process I used for the other two. So see, I went fast forward there so you can see. And then I was working on the ribbon. And then what I did was I used one of the red and white um, like twine um, 
string, I guess you can say. And then I just tied them so it also added a little bit of color. And then I was trying to figure out the size. So I did like the, the cancer awareness bow. And then all I did was I did a loop and then I put it closer. And then I used the twine again two times. As you can see, my hands got super painted with those snow globes. But again, it was super, super easy. And then that was it. So there you can see a little bit. And then I pulled on the little bow's side and that was it. I wrapped the string around it and it was done. And then what I did was I put those two on the top of the J and the Y. And then for the uh, O part, you see me there gluing it. I took off the red bow that it had because I wanted them all to match. So I took off the red bow and I did another one of those same bow types and I glued them on the top. Or should I say on the top of the wreath part. And then there you see more or less when I'm done. And then I decided I needed something else. So I glued three, one on each one of the bells to the ribbon. And I thought it was so cute. And again, it was so fast. So I wanted the bows to have like a little pop up. So I hot glued that same way. And then I wanted to add something else. So I got these. These are also from Dollar Tree. They already have the sticker in the back. And then I'm using those paint markers. And I, you know, painted them first. The first one wasn't the right color I wanted. So that's what I did. I painted red, white, red, white. And I did that to all three. And there you can see I replaced the middle. Now this is craft number two. So I got two of the palettes, again, from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to paint them white. And that one is Candy Apple from Appleboro. I absolutely love that red. And then those J and the Y are also from Walmart. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue them both together. Now watch what I did here. Hmm. <laughs> Wasn't paying attention. Oh, wait, there we go. Let's try again. Nope. I'm going to need hot glue. <laughs> and that was it. Now I painted the stripes red and white. There, I'm taking off the extra. And I'm here trying to make it sure what colors, make sure it's enough. And then I just painted it. Little by little. I painted all the white first and then I painted the red. Painted the sides too because I knew it would show. Again, I love that white. It does such a good coat you know, cover up on things that it's so worth it. So I always get the big one. I get it from Walmart just to make sure that I always have enough. And then I painted these two because these had a distressed look to it and I'm not very fond of that look. And so I painted the J and the white. And in the, get, in the O, I wanted to use one of the wreath. And again, just one coat and then I just painted the Y. And that's it. I let those dry and then I went for the red. Again, super easy. And then for anything else, I guess I did a little extra um, cover up. And again, I used the blow dryer so that the dry time goes faster. I don't have to wait overnight like I used to. So I bought a cheap, less than $20, I believe it was, um, blow dryer and then that's what i use to blow dry my things so that they dry really quickly if you you know you don't have the time then you can just leave it overnight and finish it off the next day but sometimes time is not on my side so i use the time i have i try to do the quick and easy crafts and i try to plan and there i go i use the same ribbon i'm just here turning it because i like for the design on it to show and i don't like for the middle to be flipped over so I'm fixing it and then I'm cutting it off because it was a little longer than I wanted. And then I glue that on top of that also. So that's what I put on the O. 
and I put it right in the center so I know how much space I need between the J and the Y. And again, that's it for this craft. Again, super cute, super simple. Now it actually stands by itself or if you wanted to put on one of those um, picture frames, little, I don't even know what to call them. Okay, so here's the next craft. And again, super easy, super quick. Now, obviously when you rip off whatever the little picture is in the front, um, you can decide whether to try to do the construction paper, which is what I did, but I didn't obviously measure it correctly. So I went with Waverly ink to paint it. So here I'm putting a little bit of the tape because I do not want the white part to be painted. And I just, I show you here real quick and I start painting. I give it a good thick coat because those dog pattern paws were really showing through even with the ink. So I gave it a couple um, coats and then eventually I took off the strip and then there were some parts I had to just touch up. And then I got one of those words from Joy from the pack and put it on. So here's my uh, tip advice for you because you can see I put all this on first and then I had a really big oopsie daisy. The spray from Dollar Tree for glue is really good. Like I didn't think it was going to be that good. It's actually Elmer's, but it's from a Dollar Tree. So I sprayed all over in there and then I had her put glitter all over it and it did not want to come off. That's how good it was. So my tip to you is before you glue the trees, before you glue the word joy here, you, I'm trying to take it off because you can't see it. Do the glitter part first. So spray and then add the glitter, then add the word joy and add the um, trees. Cause as you can see here, when I took it off, you can see it. You put the hot glue, be careful cause the metal with the hot glue gets hot. Okay, just to But then at the end, I had to end up taking one of the trees cause I could see a little bit of the white. So again, the tip is spray it, then put the glue. I mean, put the glue, then put all the glitter you want, and then go ahead and add your decorations at the end. Or don't put it. I think it's so cute because it looks like the stars. And then I wanted one more thing, so I gave you there another idea. Those, again, are from Dollar General. And then I was just, I decided at the end to add a green little bow to the top of it, and that's it. Let me know in the comments below which is your favorite.